is Ben here and welcome back to another video on Superman Lower Season 4. Today we're going to be breaking down an article that confirms some of the supporting characters that are going to be returning in the next season. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. So if you haven't checked out yesterday's video which was on the same article but just a different part of the article please be sure to go check it out it's about Superman Lois season 5 and it's still be impossible according to the head of the CW so go check out that video it's on the top right corner of the screen right now also want to remind you guys we've got a giveaway going on so if you guys get any merchandise from my merch store which is the first link in the description below you will be entered into a competition for the flash season 9 on DVD that's going to be until August 28th. On that date, we're going to be choosing the winner. So go over to my website, that's the dctvshow.tmo.com, to get your merch today if you want to support the channel and also be entered into the giveaway. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's main topic. So, like in yesterday's video, this is from the Hollywood Reporters TV Top 5 podcast, and they welcome ZW Entertainment president Brad Schwartz. So go have a listen to that podcast, I believe he's actually on there for quite a bit, but for ease we are going to be breaking down Krypton's site and their article because they've pulled out some very interesting quotes and the main one we're going to be talking about is this. We're going to read it out right here, right now, so let's get into this. So Brad Schwartz was asked about the supporting characters who are no longer series regulars and are not contracted to be in the new season for all of the episodes. So the question is orientated towards him and getting an answer out of him to do with how many characters are going to come back, how long they're going to be in the episodes for, like how many episodes, and so this was his answer. A lot of those characters will be back. They'll just be back for a few episodes instead of all the episodes, said Brad Schwartz. He goes on to say, these are the creative decisions that have to be made when you want to keep a show going and do it in a way that's profitable for everyone, implying that he expected many of the other actors to return. He is, however, confident of the show's continued success. He says, I don't think any of these shows aren't going to be as ambitious and awesome as they've always been. So that is the quote. So let's break this down. So first things first, he says a lot of those characters will be back. So that's confirmation. Yeah, people like maybe Lana, maybe Sarah could come back along with the likes of John Henry Irons and Natalie. Obviously, we're talking about their respective actors here. And so they will be back in just a few episodes each rather than all the episodes. He doesn't confirm who exactly, so we don't know if, say, someone's going to show up for three episodes and other people are going to show up for like one or two episodes. They're all hopefully going to get their proper send-offs if that is what they intend to do. Again, we don't know if that's what they intend to do because if there is a season five like we talked about yesterday you might want to bring back some of those characters if the story definitely welcomes it so like i could think of storylines that could ask for john henry irons back and natalie back so that would make a lot of sense and i guess they wouldn't want to close the door if there is a possibility of a season five because obviously a lot of these characters are very important to the show and they have been since it started but with Nexstar coming in and them wanting to keep the Superman Lois show going, but at the same time they want to cut back on the cost because it's a very expensive show and they want to make everything profitable as we've been saying a million times. They've had to do some big, big budget cuts in order to keep the CW happy, but also keep the show going on. And I find it very interesting what he goes on to say. He says, these are the creative decisions that have to be made if you want to keep a show going and do it in a way that's profitable for everyone. Now, I understand the reasoning for them doing the cuts, right? Like, I understand taking away some of those characters who are on their payroll and so those actors won't be around all the time so they're just saving at least a fair chunk of the cost obviously there's a lot more that goes into it you know there is cgi you know the show uses quite a lot of cgi and it's really good i presume that costs a lot of money and also the production design and everything like that especially if they want to go kind of in the direction more of doing superman all the time and loads of fight scenes like they previously done obviously that's more expensive than sort of like a family drama show that is centered around just a family and it seems like 
we're going to kind of be leaning more towards that in this next season because they're trying to save that money. However, he says we'll be just as awesome as possible and it isn't going to be less ambitious. I question that. Like, I don't know if I believe him entirely because they're going to be restrained by their budget. And I think, you know, there's nothing wrong with having a higher budget unless, you know, it's just way too much. And I don't think Superman Lois had an excess budget, right? So I feel like this is just going to put constraints on them. Yes, they're going to have to be creative about the ways that they, you know, go around those budget restraints. But it's basically the CW just tightening, you know, the noose around the show. And they're like, okay, you can do the show, but this is as far as you can go. Like, don't have all your characters come back. You focus on the main characters. You focus on one villain. You get 10 episodes and that's it. And so I feel like even though he says these are creative decisions that have to be made, I agree that creative decisions do have to be made when there's budget restrictions, but you are the person who has restrained them. And so I don't believe it's actually a creative decision to keep the show going on. Like, it's just weird the way that he words it in the interview. And I think it's actually very wrong, just coming from him himself. And he goes on to say, do it in a way that is profitable for everyone. And as I said in yesterday's video, he just keeps on saying that word over and over again. I don't know how it's good for PR. I don't know how it's good for advertisers. Yes, you know, advertisers want to have a show that's profitable and they want to advertise with them. However, when they're coming out and openly stating this so much that they're all about money, they don't care about the shows, you know. He's even said, you know, if it's not profitable, they're going to end the show. Like, he straight up said that already. So, it's all about money for him and the CW, obviously operated by Nexstar as the majority shareholders. And I've said this many, many times. I think they're heading down a very bad path. And honestly, I'm like a little bit scared about this new season of Superman Lois. I hope that it actually goes well and I believe that the creative people behind the show are going to make the right decisions and they're going to make it good, but I don't trust the CW and Nexstar. I really feel like they're just waiting in the shadows, waiting for the show to flop so they can be like, okay, let's cut back on this, let's cancel Superman Lois, let's cancel all these other shows just so we can take, you know, some of that budget off of our bills. But anyway, just going back to the goods, at least we're going to have these characters back. I don't know the situation with all the different actors. I know that the actor who plays General Lane, his wife came out on Twitter a while ago and said that he wasn't going to be in the season. I don't know if things have changed. Obviously, they need to create new contracts for them and they need to reach out to them. I believe that they probably started doing that already. I believe they probably did that before the strike started for the actors because I don't know if actors can negotiate with studios right now. But I really hope that as many of the characters come back as possible, I really hope that the actors get work on Superman Lois in those final 10 episodes of season 4. Again, we don't know if it's final or not because there is rumours that season 5 could happen, especially if it does well. That's according to the head of the CW. And so... Yeah, they're only going to be in a few episodes instead of all of the episodes like normal. And this is just due to these budget cuts and, you know, that we're just going to have to accept it. But for now, guys, get hype for Superman Lois Season 4. Hopefully, it's not going to release way too late. Like, I'm really hoping for a 2024 summer release. Again, like I said before, it's probably going to be summer or fall. It all really depends on what's going on in Hollywood and how quick they actually resolve everything. Because as I've said in many videos recently with all my update videos, things right now are not looking good. The actors can't come to Superman Lois, the writers can't start. So I think Todd Helbing is definitely in a sticky situation, but they're going to get ready to go as soon as they can but there's going to be a lot of delays for now. That's why you've heard nothing in the way of any new Superman Lois news, and you've heard basically nothing in terms of a release date. All you've heard is, you know, just a couple of rumours here and there, and Tyler going to some conventions, talking about the new season, and that's pretty much it in regards to Superman Lois updates, as well as obviously the head of the CW coming out and doing interviews because he's able to do it because he's not an actor or a writer. So that pretty much does it for this video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. Also subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new here. 
Also, remember you can get merchandise by clicking the link in the description below to get merch and be entered automatically into our Flash Season 9 DVD giveaway that will be ending on August 28th. So for now, thank you for watching. Click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.